Dear ones, within your heart is a new knowing. It is a remembering of the fullness of your being which is informed by the new relationship to time which is emerging. Your memories of your eternalness are surfacing and with this, your relationship to your local, human identity in this particular lifetime, is perceived in a very different context. This knowing is different than an idea. It's different than conceptualizing of reincarnation or multidimensionality. It is a pure, clear, aha moment arising within you, which needs no confirmation or validation. It's simply clearly known. As you realize this knowing more and more you will find that your access to the new dimensions available on earth begins to open up in astonishing ways. Living in a multidimensional world is going to thrill you. It will truly give you the bliss and joy you have always felt would be the harvest of this experience of awakening. It expands the diversity of things you can create and experience in an enormous way. It creates a new, expanded set of possibilities that are mathematically even hard to describe. That's how significant this is. You have been dwelling in this new multidimensional earth for some time now. Yet your light body is only now beginning to merge more fully with all that you are here in ways that open up these dimensions to you. It is for this reason that you are remembering your eternalness. It is to facilitate a different relationship to your life here. It is to help you to shift your identity from your body and your life experiences here to identifying with your consciousness as you. It is your consciousness that is most truly the way to know who you are. You feel your consciousness in your heart and in your awareness. It is the way you recognize you. It is the perspective others know you as, made manifest as the energy you are present in. In this expansiveness as you, you have clear and primary ideas about what interests you and so one of the first gifts of opening to your eternalness is that you become clearer. In this new clarity you must allow yourself to be present in a state of discovery. Without this openness to new beginnings you filter out the multidimensionality presenting. We know that you don't want to miss anything that is coming forth in this new creation, and so we speak to you today to help you orient to these times. The spaciousness you are experiencing will feel very challenging for many of you. You will not even know where to begin. Of course if you were a small child, you would begin most naturally by exploring what was right in front of you and branching out from there. You would be exploring gradually because your capacity to use your physicality would also be growing along with your exploration. Now you are a fully grown adult human being and yet you're in an entirely new space. A space in which you may have no interest in anything you did in the past. A space in which you have very few if any connections, friendship. A space in which you have let so much go that you have forgotten how to begin this whole process of opening to the world and participating once more. The most amazing thing is this, if you truly view each and every day and each and every moment as a new moment within your eternalness, and open to the world and open to all that you are, the unique essence of you will very distinctly discover where there is passion, interest, curiosity, connection, and desires to share and create. It will happen most naturally in your newly cultivated neutrality. For you will just allow yourself to be as you wish. As you feel inclined. But this will be different from those months on the couch, and those days of letting go of things you loved and which didn't fit anymore. This will be different because you will re-enter life but present as a multidimensional being. And as such the contrast of the world will stimulate you in expanded ways. This is how you will empower the probabilities for creation that I spoke of earlier. By going out into the world, by being with others, by exploring what's right around you, what constitutes your day, by seeing it all with your multidimensional, eternal presence, you will give yourself permission to do all kinds of things you didn't see before as options or which truly did not exist as options before, because you are now making joy and curiosity your criteria. Because you are now making your happiness and delight and ease and wonder, your criteria. You are not trying to please others. You're not trying to accomplish. You're not comparing. You're not judging. Your life in flow and present as you, the essence of beauty the refraction of the divine that is your unique sensibility and arrangement. So dear ones, you are now the first humans to live knowing their eternal divine true nature. Not thinking it. Not liking the idea. Knowing it. 
and to arrive in this state of being each of you is taking a very challenging journey. And now the adventure continues, only now the adventure is for you, in this entirely new way of being present, to reintroduce yourself to life. To the world. To people. To places. To experiences. To move about and engage and let yourself be stimulated into delight and creativity that brings you joy. Oh the amazing things we are sure you are going to discover and imagine and bring forth and share and see oh create and enjoy together and within your own wholeness. It is really the dawn of a new age. And you are approaching it now. Your sense of not knowing, your sense of not knowing how to begin, your sense of feeling all the old things don't make sense, your knowing that you cannot plan, must live in the moment, your feeling of your own fullness, all of these are indicators. They are indicators that your old life is over. That a very long journey has been fulfilled and now continues in a new land, in a new way, and you have a new, upgraded vehicle in which to experience your expansive consciousness. These indicators are pointing to the truth of the situation, you are now transformed and continually transforming, and can therefore meet the world which is in an entirely uplifted state of presence. Available to those who have also uplifted their field into more and more capacity for light. This newness will continue to grow as your own evolution continues. But this feeling of incredibly challenging spaciousness, this feeling that your life is over, is actually the threshold of the new beginning. And you, beloved ones, are the first to walk into this new land, knowing who you are and having the ability to access this wholeness to play with all that presence to you. It is truly an amazing time of joy. Enjoy it. Let yourself be free. Love yourself enough to truly realize the newness available to you. I am with you always. I am Archangel Michael.